Hey guys, well, I thought we could have a little bit of enlightenment today because after Chris and Sarah's recent revelation that they do not need YouTube to, to um, lead their lifestyle that they currently lead, well, this is what they said recently. YouTube isn't our main source of income, so when it dries up, we will continue living the amazing lives we are living now. So that got me to thinking, what are these amazing income streams that the Inghams secretly have that nobody knows about? So I have done some digging and I think I've come up with exactly what it is. You want to know? Comment down below what you think it is. <laughs> so, first up, we have, due to Chris and Sarah's penchant for lying and fabrication. So, I, when I tweaked it was a scam, she was telling me, you need to, you don't hang up this phone. I was saying to her, look, I'm not paying you any more money. I'm not paying you another £4,000 for you to go clear some charges. What, like, you're having a laugh? Anyway, she was like, basically, she was arguing me saying, don't hang up the phone. I hung the phone up, got straight onto my accountant, straight away, who immediately said to me, man, calm down, it's a scam. And... Yeah, all of a sudden the front curtains burst open and a torch, yeah. torch shone in my face and a man with a balaclava stood there. Still stood there, yeah. And I literally pooed myself. I've never ever been instantly so scared in my entire life, but my reaction was good though. I jumped straight up. I, I don't, no, no, I don't know if your reaction was, he jumped up, ran out after him. Obviously my reaction was right. I am protecting my family, right? But I jumped, I jumped, I jumped out of the van quicker than lining after this guy. Literally he chased him. He was gone in seconds. In Chris has stood there in his boxers and his truckers, socks. Boxers and socks. Shouting, come on then, where are you? Show yourself. Introducing to you, Chrisingham's Fabrication School. I'll fabricate a course. Um... appetite well if it doesn't this one sure will because due to sarah ingham's absolute love of everything burgers i'm sick of replying to messages and comments saying have you seen this is this true and trying to explain myself over and over and over and over again about blooming everything we do in our lives constantly trying to justify why i had a burger for my tea last night i want a burger for my tea i'll have a burger for my tea you continue to chat about my weight i don't mind let me introduce to you Sarah's Burger Bar. So here's the ingredients. We're about to start preparing this now. we are excited to try cheeseburger pasta. Mm -hmm. So all we need to do now to finish off this meal is add the pasta, I think. Yeah. It's a one pot as well, is this? So you don't actually have to cook the pasta first. You can just shove it in the pan with the mince and the chicken stock and then leave okay. it to bring it to the boil and leave it to simmer for like 10, 15 minutes. And then hopefully, Dad and the girls will be home. Yeah, it smells so good so It far. does, it smells delicious. So far, so good. It does. <laughs> Now, Chris decided to also combine his love of flying things, piloting. We all know he loves to be a pilot, thinks he's a pilot. So he's combined his love for flying. You know how close you the ground in experience. With his absolute knowledge of being a doctor with him knowing all the codes and all that um it was really really busy in here to be fair to everybody it's been really busy in here all night long and because i used to work here i know all the the codes for stuff that goes on here like i know that they had a couple of major traumas in tonight whilst i was here well i would like to introduce you to chris ingham's 
The Flying Doctors. And finally, what else could a brilliant business brain like Chrissingham and Bradford's Better Business Bureau Woman of the Year, Sarah Ingham, what could they possibly do with the house which has lain empty since the moment they bought it? Well, it is... To put it on to Airbnb, getting them a spot on daytime TV on Nightmare Tenants. Slum landlords. Yes, you do understand. You're supposed to vacate the property yesterday. You know, I was upset what I'd come back home to. Um, the plaster has been out today and filled in all the holes. In this series, we follow the experts whose job it is to evict nightmare tenants. I just want to mention as well, I'm sorry, I can't brush my hair. I can't change my clothes because I can't get to anything in my bedroom or anything around the house. This is currently the mess right now. That's my wardrobe. I've got the mattress, um, my dressing table, TV stand, curtains, coats. You name it, scam-wise, we've seen it. Excuse me, you have her? Excuse me? I think that could be our tenant. And the heroes who take slum landlords down. As you can see, it's an absolute mess in here. It is like this in every single room, so I can't get to any of the kids' boys' clothes, I can't get Leah's clothes, I can't get to my clothes, I don't know where the hairbrushes are, so I can't get ready just yet. You can't cut their electrics and urinate on their furniture. Provide habitable properties for other human beings. Jesus. Get off. No, no, we have to make Absolutely, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, they have it made and their future looks bright. Without YouTube, doesn't matter. They'll continue to pimp out their kids even if they don't have to because that's just the way this family rolls and just the type of family they are. Isn't that right, Sarah? So everybody, please, let me know in the comments below which is your favourite Ingham job. Which one do you think they are most successful at? Which is the best job? Does Sarah earn a pittance with her burger bar? And does Chris teach all the people how to build vans in his fabrication school? So many questions. Until next time, please give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and leave me all the comments down below. Have a lovely day, take care of yourselves and bye bye.